Like I'm so perfect, like I know when I don't know. Like hey you guys, Erin and Dusty and Baby Max here <laughs> and welcome back to our kitchen and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. Yes, so today we've got three protein packed vegan beginner recipes coming at you. <laughs> Yeah, so the first recipe is going to be a berry protein packed smoothie. So this one you actually are not going to be needing a protein powder for. You can't add it, we love ours, you guys know that. You can find our favorite in the link below, but there are plenty of whole food ways to get your protein in as well. Yep, number two, our <laughs> second recipe is going to be my specialty, my vegan tofu scramble. So eggs were like the last thing that we gave up and I gotta say I really missed my scrambled eggs, but not anymore with this tofu scramble. It is epic and you wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> and our third and final recipe is going to be a protein packed salad. So this is not your traditional salad. It's not a bed of greens topped with more delicious veggies. It's got plenty of grains and beans to keep you satisfied and fuller longer. So if you're plant-based, you know the number one question we get all the time is where do you get your protein? And we're like, oh my gosh, really? There are so many ways we don't count our macros anymore. And I can officially say that I get just as much, sometimes more protein than when I was eating meat. So these recipes are going to be how you can do the same. So whether you're a beginner or not, or maybe you're just a new mom or a new dad in a time crunch, these recipes are all for you. So if you guys have been part of the Eat Move Rest fam for a while, then you know Dusty and I's favorite way to start almost every day is with a protein smoothie. So they're delicious and they're easy to take with you on the go, and it's a great way to pack a lot of protein into one glass. For this berry protein packed smoothie, you will need two cups of frozen mixed berries, two cups of fresh spinach, one frozen ripe freckled banana, a half cup of rolled oats, and two tablespoons of whole hemp seeds. You will also be needing a liquid of your choice. We are using one cup of water. So if you're a plant-based athlete, our key players here are going to be our hemp seeds and our rolled oats, which are both extremely high in protein. They're also high in iron and Hemp seeds happen to be a very high source of magnesium, which is going to be fantastic for recovering and relaxing your muscles. All right, pick a glass of choice and pour. This recipe has about 20 grams of plant protein and close to 500 calories. So this will sustain you on the go, pre or post workout, or even for an entire meal. Okay guys, now, like I said before, my specialty, one of my favorite recipes is this tofu scramble. This has a whopping 500 calories and 50 grams of protein. Talk about muscles. Nobody can argue with that. V gains all the way. So for this recipe, we are using half a brick of extra firm tofu, half cup of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. These are already cooked a handful of grape or cherry tomatoes, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a half a cup of spinach, and then about half of a bell pepper. And we're actually gonna use the rest of this bell pepper for the next recipe. Our spices are just a little bit, about a quarter cup of turmeric for color, salt, and pepper. Okay, so we are gonna plop our tofu on, start up our flame and just kind of mash it up. I'll just throw a little bit of water in here to saute and cook these up. I am gonna throw the spices, the salt and the pepper in right away and our nooch. Again, the nooch gives it a little bit of that, that good yellow color that we want. Okay, so now that I've got this all mixed up and mashed up, I'm actually gonna let it go a little bit so it almost browns to the pan. Then you really get that texture and it's super tasty. I'm gonna add our chickpeas next, our bell peppers, and then our tomatoes, and last, I'm gonna add our spinach. It only takes a few seconds for that spinach to cook down, so throw the spinach in very last. So we also get a lot of questions about the safety of soy products. So tofu, for instance, is something that we usually only eat once or twice a week. That being said, as long as it comes from a whole source, it's organic and non-GMO, it is safe. In fact, doctors are now saying that it can help fight breast and prostate cancer. Something else that's interesting about tofu is that it's super high in tryptophan. So we've talked about how to be happy in one of our most recent videos. Tryptophan helps make serotonin in the brain, which 
it's gonna make you happy. So don't be afraid of your organic, non-GMO, whole food, soy products, and tofu. All right, you guys, so we are on to our third and final protein-packed beginner recipe. Yes, I said beginner. <laughs> so this one is a Mexican mango quinoa salad. This is not your typical salad. It's not just a bed of greens. We've got tons of protein. Quinoa, in fact, is a complete protein, which means it contains all of your essential amino acids that you cannot obtain without your diet. So they're all packed in there. They're gonna help with muscle growth and repair as well as black beans being another fantastic source of plant protein. They are also high in iron and calcium. That being said, we have all of the colors of the rainbow. They're raw, they're whole, and they are so good for you. So let's check out what we need. For this recipe, you will need to cook one cup of dry quinoa. You will also need two cups or one can of rinsed black beans, one large diced tomato, two small or one large mango, half a cup of sweet corn, half of a red onion, half of an orange bell pepper, a handful of kale, this is fresh chopped from our garden. You will also need one to two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, also fresh from our garden, and the juice of two limes. You may also choose to add salt and pepper to taste. However, the mango and the lime and cilantro adds plenty of flavor as it is, but if you wanna get really crazy and have a lot of fun with spices, these are some others that we recommend. Again, you can add these all to taste. Cayenne, paprika, cumin, and garlic powder. This will give it a little bit more of a Mexican fiesta flair. Once you have all of your ingredients chopped and measured, pour them all into a large mixing bowl and mix. All right, you guys, perfect timing. Max gave us just enough time during his nap to finish our third and final recipe, which is also going to be our dinner tonight. So our tropical mango quinoa salad is complete. This one has about 400 calories per serving and close to 12 grams of protein. Go see Papa. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, so there it is. You have a smoothie, a salad, and a scramble. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this vegan beginner protein packed recipe combo, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join us here at the Eat Move Rest headquarters. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below. And if you know someone who might be plant curious, be sure to share this video with them. If you're not already, follow us on all forms of social media, especially on Instagram, at DB Stanzik, at Aaron Stanzik, and Max says, eat, move, rest, your best. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. I don't keep you waiting always.